This work presents a novel preconditioned method for solving space fractional diffusion equations, building upon the ideal preconditioner proposed by Pistana in 2019. The method begins with standard discretization of the equation, resulting in a non-symmetric, multi-level toplet system. A simple symmetrization strategy is employed to transform the original linear system into a symmetric multi-level Hankel system. A symmetric positive definite multi-level tau preconditioner is then proposed for the symmetrized system, which can be efficiently implemented using discrete sign transforms. Theoretical analysis demonstrates that mesh-independent convergence can be achieved when employing the minimal residual method. Specifically, the eigenvalues of the preconditioned matrix are proven to be bounded within disjoint intervals containing plus or minus 1, without any outliers. The proposed preconditioning strategy is motivated by the growing interest in developing effective preconditioners for symmetrized toplet systems. This symmetrization technique is essential for the development of efficient preconditioners for the resulting symmetric multi-level Hankel systems. Theoretical results show that the preconditioned matrix's eigenvalues are clustered around plus or minus 1, indicating a well-conditioned system. The absence of outliers in the eigenvalue distribution further supports the effectiveness of the proposed preconditioning strategy. Numerical examples are presented to critically discuss the results showcase the spectral distribution, and demonstrate the efficacy of the preconditioning strategy. The proposed method is expected to be particularly useful for solving space fractional diffusion equations, where efficient preconditioning techniques are crucial for achieving accurate solutions. The authors introduce a symmetrization technique for toplets matrices, employing the anti-identity matrix YM to pre-multiply the original matrix, resulting in a symmetric system YMTM. This enables the application of the minimal residual, M-I-N-R-E-S, method, which converges based on the eigenvalues of the system, facilitating the construction of effective preconditioners. In contrast, the generalized minimal residual, G-M-R-E-S, method, commonly used for non-symmetric toplet systems, relies on a heuristic preconditioning approach and its convergence behavior cannot be rigorously analyzed solely through eigenvalue knowledge. Various preconditioning techniques have been proposed for symmetrized toplets matrices, including absolute value circulant preconditioners, toplets, and band toplets preconditioners. The symmetrization approach has also been applied to solve evolutionary differential equations. However, the performance of tau preconditioners, effective in symmetric toplet systems, remains unexplored in the context of symmetrized toplet systems. To address this, the authors investigate the effectiveness of tau preconditioning for symmetrized toplet systems arising from discretized fractional diffusion equations. They consider a model problem, the space riemann liouville rl fractional diffusion equation, a system of partial differential equations with fractional derivatives. Discretization of this equation results in a toplet system, which is then symmetrized using the anti-identity matrix YM. The authors aim to explore the application of tau preconditioners to this symmetrized system, examining their potential to enhance the convergence of the MINRES method. The authors investigate a multi-dimensional space fractional advection diffusion equation, defined on an open hyperrectangle omega with boundary partial differential omega. The equation involves fractional derivatives of orders alpha i element of 1, 2, where left and right-sided riemann liouville fractional derivatives are used, defined via the gamma function. The problem is discretized using a backward Euler method for the temporal derivative and the shifted Grunwald scheme for the space fractional derivatives, yielding a linear system nu equals nu uk1 plus fk. Here, nu is inversely proportional to the time step size tau, and fk is a known vector from the numerical scheme. The coefficient matrix N is a non-symmetric multi-level toplets matrix, expressed as an equals nu in plus n airy summation, v, plus v plus v, wi, where v, plus and v, are constants. v is a Kronecker product of identity matrices and L, alpha i, mi, with L, alpha i, mi being a matrix related to the fractional derivative. The notation Ni and N plus denote the sets of non-negative and positive integers, respectively, and M I and K is defined as M, M plus 1, K1, K, for M. K element of N with M is less than or equal to K. 
The discretized equation results in a linear system that can be solved numerically. The use of the shifted Grunwald scheme for space fractional derivatives allows for the incorporation of non-local effects, while the backward Euler method provides stability for the temporal derivative. The resulting coefficient matrix and has a specific structure, which can be exploited for efficient numerical solution. The matrix L, alpha I, is a toplets matrix defined by the complex valued function G alpha I, theta, equals E carrot, I theta, 1 E carrot, I theta, carrot, alpha I. The coefficients G, alpha I, K are given by G, alpha I, K equals, 1, carrot K alpha I carrot K, K where k is greater than or equal to zero. This matrix is used to construct the generating function f alpha, theta, equals nu plus underscore, i equals 1, caret dv underscore i, plus g alpha i, theta underscore i, plus v underscore i, g alpha i, theta underscore i, where alpha equals, alpha 1, alpha underscore d. To solve the system x equals b. The MINRES method is employed to solve the equivalent system in a new Z equals X equals Y N new U K1 plus F K Z equals B. However, accelerating the convergence of the MINRES algorithm requires effective preconditioning techniques. Prior work has shown that circulant preconditioners, as proposed in 32, are ineffective for this purpose, as demonstrated in 31. Moreover, a comprehensive analysis in 18 reveals that circulant preconditioners do not generally ensure rapid convergence, particularly for ill-conditioned toplet systems. Band toplets preconditioners, as proposed in 18, are also limited, as they are only applicable to symmetrized toplet systems with generating functions exhibiting zeros of even order. Notably, the associated function f alpha in this work has a zero of fractional order rendering band toplets preconditioners inapplicable to the matrix in N. Therefore, alternative preconditioning strategies must be explored to effectively accelerate the MINRES algorithm for the system at hand. The author's approach to constructing the generating function and employing the MINRES method with preconditioning techniques highlights the complexity of solving the original system X equals B. The limitations of existing preconditioning techniques underscore the need for further research into effective methods for accelerating the convergence of the MINRES algorithm in this context. The challenge of preconditioning non-symmetric multi-level toplet systems arising from space fractional diffusion equations is addressed in this research. Building upon previous work, the authors propose a novel approach to overcome the limitations of existing preconditioners. Recent research has suggested using the symmetric part of the multi-level toplets coefficient matrix as a preconditioner, which, although facilitating fast MINRES convergence, is computationally expensive and lacks a theoretical proof of effectiveness. This study makes two primary contributions. First, it proves that the ideal preconditioner can lead to a MINRES convergence rate independent of the mesh size for the space fractional diffusion equation under consideration. Second, it introduces a multi-level tau preconditioner, P, as an improved alternative to the ideal preconditioner for in Anx equals YNB, which balances preconditioning effectiveness with computational feasibility. The proposed tau preconditioner is defined as the difference between the toplets matrix TM and the Henkel matrix HIM, denoted as tau, TM. A crucial property of the tau matrix is its diagonalizability by the signed transform matrix as expressed in equation 2.2. This research provides a theoretical proof of the ideal preconditioner's effectiveness and demonstrates the optimality of tau preconditioning for symmetrized multi-level toplet systems stemming from space fractional diffusion equations. The paper is organized into sections reviewing preliminary results on multi-level toplets matrices, presenting the main results on the effectiveness of the proposed preconditioner and providing numerical examples to demonstrate the expected performance and support theoretical results. Notably, this study is the first to demonstrate the optimality of tau preconditioning for symmetrized multi-level toplet systems, achieving mesh-independent MINRES convergence. The authors introduce a diagonal matrix QM, where QM equals Diog, Chi, M, with Chi defined as T1 plus 2 MXA equals 2 TJCOS, 
pi i j1 m plus 1 for i element of 1 m additionally they define a symmetric orthogonal matrix sm computable in o malam operations using discrete sign transforms dsts the product of sm and a vector of length m can also be computed in o malam operations Notably, the m numbers, chi, mi equals 1 can be efficiently computed using the equation, q1, q2, qm, equals diog, smem, 1, minus 1, sm tau, tm, m, 1, requiring only o, malam, operations. The symmetric part of a real square matrix z is denoted as h, z, equals, z plus z, 2. The multi-level tau preconditioner Pn for matrix Enin is defined as Pn equals nu in plus n airy summation i equals 1 v plus plus v in circled times tau h l alpha i ni circled times in plus where v plus and v are defined in equation 2.2. Using the properties of the onidimensional sign transform matrix Sm. The authors demonstrate that Pn is diagonalizable by a d-dimensional sign transform matrix S, namely, Pn equals S lambda S, where lambda contains the eigenvalues of tau H, L, alpha I, Ni. This enables efficient computation of the product of Pn and a given vector in O, N L O G N operations using DSTs. Furthermore, the authors will show in section 4 that the eigenvalues of the preconditioned matrix Pn1 Enin are contained in a disjoint interval enclosing plus or minus 1, ensuring theoretically guaranteed matrix size mesh independent convergence when the MINRES algorithm is applied. In the Banach space L1, minus pi, pi, k, of complex valued Lebesgue integrable functions over, minus pi, pi, k. Equipped with the norm parallel f parallel l1 defined as the integral of the absolute value of f over minus pi pi k with respect to the k-dimensional Lebesgue measure, multi-level toplets and Hankel matrices are considered. Given a function f in l1 minus pi pi k periodically extended to r k, the multi-level toplets matrix T n f of size n times n is constructed using the Fourier coefficients a j of f defined as the integral of f multiplied by the exponential function aj theta over minus pi pi k the inner product j theta is the sum of jt theta t over t from 1 to k tn f is composed of blocks jj1 n1 circled times circled times jjk and k where jjm is an m times m matrix with l h th entry 1 if l minus h equals j and 0 otherwise. The function f is the generating function of tn, f. It is established that if f is real valued, tn, f, is hermitian. If f is real valued and non-negative, but not identically 0 almost everywhere, tn, f, is hermitian positive definite. And if f is real valued and even, tn, f, is symmetric. Throughout, it is assumed that f belongs to l1, minus pi, pi, k, and is periodically extended to rk. A multi-level Hankel matrix Hn, f, can be defined using the Fourier coefficients a, j, of f. Hn, f, is symmetric and constructed using blocks k, k, r, which are r times r matrices with, i, j, th entry 1 if i plus j equals k plus 1 and 0 otherwise. Multi-level toplets matrices can be symmetrized using the permutation matrix Yn, a crucial step in developing effective preconditioners. The symmetrization process transforms Tn, F, into a symmetric multi-level Hankel matrix Yn Tn, F, achieved through the Kronecker product of smaller permutation matrices Eni. To establish properties of Yn Tn, F, we examine the structure of the original multi-level toplets matrix Tn, F. By expressing Tn, F, as a sum of Kronecker products of smaller matrices, we can apply Yn to symmetrize the matrix, yielding a multi-level Hankel matrix with a specific structure that can be leveraged to develop effective preconditioners. Understanding the asymptotic spectral distribution of Yn Tn, F, is crucial and this has been established for the unilevel case and generalized to the multilevel case. To provide the main preconditioning result, we establish two lemmas. 
Lemma 4.1 relates to the properties of non-negative numbers and positive numbers, while Lemma 4.2 provides the generating function of the matrix ETM, used to analyze the spectral properties of the matrix. The generating function F alpha, theta, is given by equation, 4.1, which involves constants C1 and C2 and parameter alpha, defined for two ranges of theta. Equation, 4.1 provides the basis for understanding the spectral properties of the matrix ETM, crucial in developing the main preconditioning result. By combining lemmas 4.1 and 4.2, and using the generating function F alpha, theta, we will establish the preconditioning result, to be presented in subsequent sections. Asymptotic analysis and mathematical formulation underlie this result. Leveraging these principles allows the derivation of a practical and computationally efficient method to be employed for handling real-world scenarios that give rise to toplets structured problems in computation science. Novel contribution centers around introduction and consequent optimization over suitable pairs Y and L function toward EK iteration enhancing formulation as related computations together have structured eigensolutions following diagonal algebra scheme eventually resulting at one or more eigenvalues, based on the structured eigenproblem solution, of this toplets matrix. One determines the eigenvalue decomposition of toplets matrix which has been our objective from the outset. The convergence result of the ideal preconditioner H, N, for solving the system in X equals Y and B is established through a series of mathematical derivations. First, the authors demonstrate the positive definiteness of H, N, using lemma 4.3, which states that H, N, equals, N plus A N, 2 is symmetric positive definite. This is proven by showing that H underscore L, alpha i, ni is symmetric positive definite and then using the definition of h, n, in terms of h underscore l, alpha i, ni. The authors then recall lemma 4.4 from, 31, theorem 4.2, which states that the eigenvalues of h, n, squared in an, n, squared are bounded within the intervals, 1 epsilon, 1, union, 1, 1 plus epsilon, where epsilon is a bound on the ratio of the imaginary to real parts of the function f generating the multi-level toplets matrix n. Proposition 1 provides an upper bound on epsilon in terms of the parameters d, plus and d. Specifically epsilon is less than or equal to max 1 is less than or equal to i is less than or equal to d, d, plus d, d, plus plus d, tan, alpha i, 2 pi, where alpha i is a parameter of the function f alpha. This bound is derived by analyzing the real and imaginary parts of V, plus G alpha I, theta I, plus V, G alpha I, theta I, which are expressed in terms of sine and cosine functions of theta I and alpha I. The analysis relies on the properties of the sine and cosine functions, allowing the authors to establish a precise upper bound on epsilon. This result is crucial for understanding the convergence properties of the ideal preconditioner H, N and its application to solving the system in X equals Y and B. The authors derive a series of equations and inequalities related to the complex-valued function F alpha, specifically focusing on the ratio of the imaginary part to the real part, denoted as I M F alpha re F alpha. They start by defining the complex-valued functions G alpha I, theta I, and G alpha I, theta I, in terms of the complex-valued vectors V, plus and V, which are used to express the imaginary and real parts of F alpha. These functions are then utilized to derive an upper bound for the ratio of the imaginary part to the real part of each V, plus G alpha I, theta I, plus V, G alpha I, theta I, term. This is achieved by leveraging the properties of the tangent function and the fact that theta I belongs to the interval, pi, pi, excluding zero. The tangent function's properties allow for the derivation of an upper bound, which is then combined using the triangle inequality to obtain an upper bound for I m f alpha re f alpha. The resulting expression is a product of two terms, each of which is a sum of d terms, where d is a positive integer. By applying the previously derived upper bound, the authors simplify the expression to obtain the final result. A maximum over I of a ratio involving the magnitudes of d, plus and d, and the tangent of alpha i divided by 2 pi. 
This final expression provides an upper bound for I am F alpha re F alpha, which is a crucial result for the subsequent analysis in the paper. Proposition 2 combines lemma 4.4 and proposition 1 to establish that the eigenvalues of age and minus 1 in and lie within the intervals minus 1 plus e minus 1 union 1 1 plus e where e is a function of the diagonal elements of n the eigenvalues are contained within the disjoint intervals minus beta minus beta union beta beta ensuring optimal convergence of the minres method according to a classical result specifically the kth residual r k satisfies the convergence rate given by equation 4.5 by setting beta equals 1 and beta equals 1 plus e, corollary 1 follows, stating that the MINRES method for the preconditioned system, 1.7, has a convergence rate independent of n. The residuals generated by the MINRES method satisfy equation 4.6, where omega is a constant independent of n, defined as a function of e. This result explains the superior preconditioning of h, n for solving the space fractional diffusion equation, as it shows that the number of iterations required for MINRES to converge is independent of n. However, it is important to note that H, n, is not an effective preconditioner in general for non-symmetric multi-level toplet systems, as illustrated in 31, example 5.1. For effective absolute value preconditioning techniques designed for general non-symmetric toplet systems, the reader is directed to 18. The convergence of the proposed preconditioner Pn is established through a series of lemmas and propositions. Lemma 4.5 guarantees the symmetric positive definiteness of Pn, as defined in equation 2.4, relying on the symmetric positive definiteness of tau Hl, alpha i, ni, as shown in reference 21, lemma 2.2. This property is crucial for the subsequent analysis. The eigenvalues of tau, h, l, alpha, m, minus 1 h, l, alpha, m, are shown to lie in the interval, 1 half, 3 halves, for alpha element of, 1, 2, and m greater than 0, as stated in lemma 4.6 from reference 20. This result is utilized to prove proposition 3, which asserts the spectral equivalence of pn and h, n. Specifically, proposition 3 states that the eigenvalues of pn minus 1 h, n, lie in, 1 half, 3 halves. The proof of proposition 3 involves considering an arbitrary eigenpair, lambda, w, of pn minus 1 h, n, and applying the Rayleigh quotient theorem in conjunction with lemma 4.6. This yields the bounds 1 half is less than or equal to lambda is less than or equal to 3 halves establishing the spectral equivalence of pn and h, n. The positive definiteness and spectral equivalence properties of pn ensure that it can be used as a reliable and efficient preconditioner in iterative solvers. The significance of this result lies in its demonstration of the effectiveness of the proposed preconditioner pn in approximating the inverse of h, n. The convergence of pn is thus established, providing a solid foundation for its application in iterative solvers. The eigenvalues of a matrix product are bounded by a series of inequalities, a crucial step in establishing the preconditioning effectiveness of a particular matrix. Specifically, the inequalities involve the matrix product W asterisk operator PDW, where W is a vector, PD is a matrix, and V plus V and alpha I are components of a more complex expression. These inequalities ultimately lead to the conclusion that lambda element of one half three halves, a key result in establishing the bounds on the eigenvalues. The proof relies on lemma 4.1, which establishes an upper bound on the matrix product W asterisk operator PDW. Additionally, lemma 4.7, a restatement of Ostrowski's theorem, provides a bound on the eigenvalues of a matrix product. This theorem states that for Hermitian matrix A and non-singular matrix W, the eigenvalues of WA asterisk operator are bounded by the eigenvalues of A and W asterisk operator W. The main result, theorem 4.1, states that the eigenvalues of PN1 in and lie in a specific interval. The proof involves a series of manipulations of the matrix product PN1 half in AN PN1 half, relying on the previous results. 
The final result establishes that the eigenvalues of this matrix product are bounded by 3 halves, 1 plus E, and 3 halves, 1 plus E, where E is a small positive value that depends on the components of the matrix. These bounds are significant because they demonstrate the preconditioning effectiveness of Pn for Enn, with implications for the convergence of iterative methods that rely on this matrix product. Overall, these technical results establish crucial bounds on the eigenvalues of a matrix product, demonstrating the preconditioning effectiveness of a particular matrix and informing the convergence of iterative methods. The eigenvalue bounds for the preconditioned matrix P caret 1 half underscore N H A underscore N P caret 1 half underscore N are established, where H A underscore N is a symmetric positive definite matrix. For each K equals 1, 2, N, there exists a positive real number theta underscore k such that the eigenvalues of p caret one half underscore n h a underscore n p caret one half underscore n are bounded by theta underscore k. These bounds are further restricted by the minimum and maximum eigenvalues of p caret one half underscore n h a underscore n p caret one half underscore n. The eigenvalues of p caret one half underscore n y underscore n a underscore n p caret one half underscore n are equal to theta underscore k times the eigenvalues of h a underscore n caret one half y underscore n a underscore n h a underscore n caret one half which are contained in the union of two disjoint intervals minus one minus e minus one and one one plus e where e is a small positive constant. This has significant implications for the solution of the preconditioned system using the MINRES method, as it enables mesh independent convergence. The eigenvalues of P caret 1 underscore NY underscore NA underscore N are contained in the disjoint intervals minus beta minus beta and beta beta with no outliers, where beta and beta are constants. Consequently, the residuals generated by the MINRES method satisfy parallel R, K, underscore 2, parallel R, 0, underscore 2 is less than or equal to 2 omega caret K, where omega is a constant independent of N, defined as omega, equals square root, 2 plus 3E, 4 plus 3E, element of, 0, 1. Numerical examples are presented. Comparing the performance of the proposed preconditioner with the state-of-the-art preconditioned MINRES solver proposed in 31. The numerical experiments are carried out using MATLAB R 2023B on a Mac Studio with a specific hardware configuration. Numerical experiments are conducted using an Apple M1 Ultra processor with 64GB RAM, where the proposed preconditioner PN is implemented using the built-in MATLAB function backquote DST backquote. The MINRES solver is implemented using the backquote minres backquote function, with an initial guess set to backquote x0 equals 1, 1, 1, square root n backquote and a stopping tolerance of backquote 10 carat 8, backquote based on the reduction in relative residual norms. The notation backquote iter backquote denotes the number of iterations for solving a linear system by an iterative solver within the given accuracy, while backquote CPU backquote denotes the time needed for convergence measured in seconds using the MATLAB built-in functions backquote tick, tock backquote. The proposed preconditioner is tested in two numerical tests conducted in 31, for comparison purposes, alongside the existing ideal toplets preconditioners backquote AR backquote and backquote AM backquote. The MINRES solver with different preconditioners is denoted by backquote minresin, PN, MG, AR, MG, AM, backquote, where backquote in backquote represents the non-preconditioned case, backquote PN backquote represents the proposed preconditioner, and backquote MG, AR, backquote and backquote mg, am, backquote represent the multigrid approximations of the state-of-the-art preconditioners backquote ar backquote and backquote am backquote, respectively. In example 5.1, the linear system obtained by discretizing the onidimensional fractional diffusion problem with zero initial condition is examined. 
The parameters backquote h backquote and backquote tau backquote are chosen such that backquote nu backquote remains constant throughout the computations. The CPU times and iteration counts reported in this example pertain to the first time step, including both the setup time for the preconditioner and the time taken to solve the problem. The dense matrix backquote AR backquote is approximated using a V-cycle multigrid method, as analyzed in 29. The matrix backquote AM backquote is also dense, approximated using a multigrid method with the same parameters as for backquote AR backquote, except that it uses one pressmoothing and one post-smoothing step. The numerical results for example 5.1 are presented in tables including the iteration counts and CPU times for the MINRES solver with different preconditioners. The results are compared with the existing ideal toplets preconditioners backquote AR backquote and backquote AM backquote, demonstrating the effectiveness of the proposed preconditioner backquote PN backquote in reducing iteration counts and CPU times. To efficiently solve linear systems arising from the fractional diffusion equation, a preconditioned MINRES solver is employed, utilizing a banded toplets approximation of the matrix AM. The approximation is computed by evaluating the first 50 elements of the first row and column of AM for alpha is less than or equal to 1.4, and beta, 1.1, log 2, n plus 1, elements for alpha greater than 1.4, where beta is chosen based on the value of alpha. This approach balances computational time and MINRES iteration count. A comparison of the MINRES solver using multiple preconditioners across different fractional derivative orders is presented in Table 1. The results show that the iteration count for MINRES PN remains stable as the spatial grid is refined, and it requires less CPU time than MINRES MG, AR, and MINRES MG, AM. The preconditioning effect improves as alpha approaches 2, consistent with theorem 4.1, which states that the magnitude of the factor, tan, alpha, 2 pi, diminishes when alpha is close to 2. Eigenvalue distributions for pn caret 1 en and are presented in figures 1 through 6, confirming the presence of a disjoint interval predicted by theorem 4.1 and the improvement of the preconditioning effect as alpha approaches 2. Table 2 examines the impact of diffusion coefficients D1, plus and D1, on the performance of the preconditioners, showing that the difference, D1, plus D1, affects convergence, not the individual values. The results indicate that MINRES PN outperforms MINRESMG, AM, and MINRESMG, AR, in terms of CPU times, with eigenvalue distributions demonstrating the effectiveness of the preconditioner PN. A clustering of eigenvalues is observed, which improves as alpha approaches 2. The proposed preconditioner MINRES PN exhibits optimal performance in terms of iteration count and CPU time, significantly outperforming MINRESMG, AM, and MINRESMG, AR. However, the CPU time for MINRES PN does not appear to scale properly with N potentially due to the size of n not being large enough to exhibit significant differences in computational time. To address this, the size parameters are increased for the subsequent test, as shown in Table 2. The results confirm the robustness of the preconditioner MINRES PN across different values of D1, plus and D1, demonstrating its effectiveness in solving the fractional diffusion equation. Numerical results for example 5.1, a non-symmetric two-level toplets problem, and example 5.2, a fractional diffusion problem, are presented. For example 5.1, Table 1 displays the iteration numbers and CPU times of the MINRES algorithm with varying values of alpha and dimension n, showcasing the significant reduction in iteration counts and CPU times achieved by the MG, AM, and MG, AR, preconditioners compared to the unpreconditioned MINRES. Notably, the MG, AM, preconditioner outperforms MG, AR, in most cases. The eigenvalues of EN, -N, illustrated in figure 2 for alpha equals 1.1 and N equals 511, demonstrate the effectiveness of the preconditioner PN, with eigenvalues clustered around a small region, indicating a successful reduction of the matrix's condition number. 
Example 5.2 is formulated as a non-symmetric two-leveled toplets problem associated with the fractional diffusion problem stated in equation 1.2, with zero initial condition, defined on a 2D domain omega equals 0, 1, times 0, 1, with t equals 1. The coefficients d1, plus, d1, d2, plus, and d2, are specified, and the forcing function f, x1, x2, t, is a sinusoidal function of x1, x2, and t. The numerical experiments aim to demonstrate the applicability of the proposed preconditioners to realistic problems and their performance in terms of iteration counts and CPU times, highlighting their potential in solving complex problems efficiently. Table 2 presents the performance of the MINRES algorithm applied to example 5.1 with alpha equals 1.5 showcasing the iteration numbers and CPU times for various combinations of D1, plus and D1. The table consists of nine scenarios, each with four columns representing the number of iterations and CPU times for the MG, AM, MG, AR, and PN methods, respectively. The results demonstrate that the MG, AM, and MG, AR methods exhibit similar performance with the number of iterations remaining relatively constant across different problem sizes. In contrast, the PN method displays a significant increase in iteration numbers as the problem size grows. Notably, the CPU times for the PN method are substantially lower than those for the MG, AM, and MG, AR, methods, highlighting the computational efficiency of the proposed approach. The performance of the MINRES algorithm is sensitive to the choice of D1, plus and D1. For instance, when D1, plus equals 1 and D1, equals 1, the MG, AM, and MG, AR, methods require fewer iterations compared to other scenarios. Furthermore, the CPU times for the PN method increases D1, plus and D1, increase indicating a higher computational cost for larger values of these parameters. Overall, the results in Table 2 underscore the effectiveness of the proposed MINRES algorithm in solving example 5.1 with alpha equals 1.5, particularly in terms of computational efficiency and scalability. The proposed method demonstrates superior performance compared to existing methods, making it a promising approach for solving complex problems. Figures 36 display the eigenvalue distributions of ENN with varying parameters alpha and N, both with and without the preconditioner PN. These distributions are crucial in understanding the performance of the MINRES solver, as they directly impact the convergence rate. Specifically, figures 3 and 4 illustrate the eigenvalues for alpha equals 1.5 and N equals 127 and 511, respectively while figures 5 and 6 depict the eigenvalues for alpha equals 1.9 and n equals 127 and 511, respectively. The choice of parameters n1, n2, and tau is made to ensure computational efficiency, with n1 equals n2 and tau equals 1, n alpha 1. However, approximating AM by a banded toplets matrix or using a multigrid method is computationally prohibitive due to the high cost of computing the Fourier coefficients of F alpha. To address this, a multigrid approximation to AR is employed, incorporating four pressmoothing and four post-smoothing steps with a damping parameter of 0.9. The coarsest grid has dimensions N1 equals N2 equals 7. Table 3 presents a comparison of the iteration count and CPU time for the MINRES solver using various preconditioners, across different orders of fractional derivatives, alpha 1, alpha 2, and grid sizes n equals n1 n2. The results reinforce several key observations, consistent with the previous example. Notably, the use of a multigrid preconditioner significantly improves the convergence rate of the MINRES solver particularly for larger grid sizes and higher orders of fractional derivatives. The findings in Table 3 highlight the importance of carefully selecting preconditioners to optimize the performance of the MINRES solver in solving fractional diffusion equations. The MINRES PN method stands out for its mesh size independent iteration counts, making it the most efficient approach. Convergence is determined by the maximum value of tan, alpha i, 2 pi, 
where i ranges from 1 to 2, rather than individual values of tan, alpha i, 2 pi. As alpha 1 and alpha 2 approach 2, the convergence of Minra's pn improves due to the corresponding reduction of the maximum value of tan, alpha i, 2 pi, towards 0. Eigenvalue distributions of p minus 1 nyn, illustrated in figures 712, validate theorem 4.1 and demonstrate the improved effectiveness of preconditioning when both alpha 1 and alpha 2 are close to 2. Specifically, figures 7 and 8 show eigenvalues of enin with alpha 1 equals alpha 2 equals 1.1 and n equals 225 and n equals 961, respectively, both with and without the pn preconditioner, clustering around the origin and indicating improved convergence. Figure 9 shows eigenvalues of enin with alpha 1 equals alpha 2 equals 1.5 and n equals 225, again with and without the pn preconditioner with even tighter clustering around the origin, indicating better convergence. The Minris PN method leverages multi-level tau preconditioners, building on the ideal preconditioner AR pioneered in 31. A novel technique for solving space fractional diffusion equations is also incorporated. The preconditioner PN is designed to reduce the condition number of the system matrix, leading to improved convergence rates. Numerical experiments have validated the method's effectiveness in solving space fractional diffusion equations. The convergence analysis of Minra's PN is based on the eigenvalues of the preconditioned system matrix. The maximum value of tan, alpha i, 2 pi, determines the convergence rate, and as alpha 1 and alpha 2 approach 2, the convergence improves. The numerical experiments demonstrate the effectiveness of the Minra's PN method in solving space fractional diffusion equations and the improved convergence rates achieved through the use of the PN preconditioner. Numerical experiments for the MINRES algorithm with the MG, AR, preconditioner and polynomial preconditioner PN were conducted for example 5.2, with results presented in Table 3. The table shows iteration numbers and CPU times for various alpha 1 and alpha 2 parameter combinations, with fixed values of D1, plus equals 2, D1, equals 0.5, D2, plus equals 0.3, and D2, equals 1. The table contains 9 rows, each representing a distinct alpha 1 and alpha 2 pair, and 3 columns for the number of iterations, N, in CPU times for the MINRES algorithm without preconditioning, MG, with the MG, AR, preconditioner, and with the PN preconditioner. The MINRES algorithm without preconditioning fails to converge within a reasonable number of iterations, with a timeout after 100 seconds indicated by the greater than symbol. In contrast, the MG, AR, preconditioner significantly improves convergence maintaining relatively constant iteration counts across alpha 1 and alpha 2 values. The polynomial preconditioner PN achieves comparable or superior performance, with reduced CPU times in some cases. The table also shows that the choice of alpha 1 and alpha 2 values has a pronounced impact on convergence behavior with the MG, AR, and PN preconditioners. Notably, the combination 1.9, 1.1, yields the most efficient convergence with the PN preconditioner, requiring only 7 iterations and 0.17 seconds. Conversely, the pair 1.1, 1.9, results in the highest number of iterations, 120, in CPU time, 5.9 seconds, for the MG, AR, preconditioner. These results provide valuable insights into the performance of the MINRES algorithm with different preconditioners and parameter combinations, highlighting the importance of careful preconditioner selection and parameter tuning for efficient convergence. The authors demonstrate the efficacy of their proposed preconditioning strategy for solving symmetrized multi-level toplet systems through numerical results. Eigenvalue distributions of enin with alpha 1 equals alpha 2 equals 1.5 and n equals 961, and alpha 1 equals alpha 2 equals 1.9 with n equals 225 and n equals 961, are presented in figures 1012, with and without the preconditioner pn. The results show that the preconditioned MINRES method achieves convergence independent of the mesh size, offering improvements in both theoretical and numerical aspects.
This suggests that the preconditioning strategy can be utilized to develop a practical and effective preconditioner for a symmetrized multi-level toplet system with YNTN, F, based on the absolute value function, F, and tau matrices. This approach would be more versatile and applicable not only to space fractional diffusion equations but also to general symmetrized multi-level toplet systems. The author's work builds upon existing research, citing Dario Beni and Fabio Di Benedetto's 1990 work on a new preconditioner for the parallel solution of positive definite toplet systems. The authors acknowledge support from the Hong Kong RGC and the Croucher Foundation. Research on toplets matrices, preconditioning techniques, and spectral analysis has a rich history, with seminal papers by Dario Beni and Milvio Capovani. Raymond H. Chan and Zhao King Jin, and Tony F. Chan. The spectral and computational properties of band symmetric toplets matrices, as studied by Beni and Capovani, form the foundation of this discussion. Iterative toplet solvers, including conjugate gradient methods, are examined in the context of Chan and Engie's work. Preconditioning techniques for ill conditioned toplets matrices are also reviewed drawing on the research of Fabio Di Benedetto and his collaboration with Stefano Capizzano, The literature review delves into spectral analysis and structure preserving preconditioners for fractional diffusion equations, as investigated by Donatelli, Mazza, and Capizzano. Finite element methods and fast iterative solvers, presented by Elman, Sylvester, and Wathen, are also discussed. The spectral clustering properties of block multi-level Hankel matrices and multi-level symmetrized toplet structures are highlighted, demonstrating the importance of understanding the spectral properties of toplets matrices and their applications. Recent work on the eigenvalue distribution of special 2x2 two two block matrix sequences, with applications to symmetrized toplet structures, is also referenced. This research contributes to the understanding of the spectral behavior of toplets matrices and their role in solving linear systems. The comprehensive treatment of generalized locally toplet sequences and their applications, as presented in the book by Carlo Garoni and Stefano Capizzano, provides a thorough foundation for understanding the state of the art in toplets matrix research, preconditioning techniques, and spectral analysis. Please provide the transcript that needs to be refined, and I'll transform it into a direct, concise, and technically accurate summary suitable for voiceover narration, following the guidelines you provided. Numerical solution of space fractional partial differential equations has been extensively explored in the literature, with a focus on finite difference approximations, preconditioning techniques, and iterative methods for toplet systems. Mir Shert and Tajarin's work on finite difference approximations for two-sided space fractional partial differential equations laid the foundation for the development of numerical methods. Their approach involves discretizing the fractional derivatives using finite difference schemes, which enables the solution of space fractional partial differential equations. Preconditioning techniques play a crucial role in solving large-scale linear systems. McDonald et al.'s research on preconditioning for non-symmetrical and time-dependent problems, as well as their work on preconditioning and iterative solution of Aliton systems for evolutionary partial differential equations, is particularly relevant. Engie's book on iterative methods provides a comprehensive treatment of the subject, including the use of preconditioners for toplet systems. Multigrid methods for fractional diffusion equations have been developed by Pang and Sun who also proposed a fast numerical contour integral method for fractional diffusion equations. Pastana's work on preconditioners for symmetrized toplets and multi-level toplets matrices has shown the importance of preconditioning techniques for solving large-scale linear systems. Her research on a preconditioned MINRES method for non-symmetric toplets matrices has also made significant contributions to the field. Sarah Capizano's work on toplets preconditioners constructed from linear approximation processes has demonstrated the effectiveness of these preconditioners for solving large-scale linear systems. However, his research has also highlighted the limitations of circulant-like preconditioners for multi-level matrices. Strang's proposal for toplets matrix calculations has provided a foundation for the development of efficient numerical methods. This literature review provides a thorough overview of the existing numerical methods and preconditioning techniques for solving space fractional partial differential equations, 
highlighting the importance of preconditioning techniques for solving large-scale linear systems. The review sets the stage for the development of new methods and algorithms, addressing the limitations and challenges of existing approaches. The convergence of iterative methods for solving large-scale linear systems can be significantly accelerated through the application of preconditioning techniques. These techniques are particularly crucial for Krylov subspace methods, widely used in machine learning and scientific computing. Preconditioning reduces the condition number of the system matrix, leading to faster convergence of iterative solvers. A preconditioner, a matrix that approximates the inverse of the system matrix, transforms the original system into a better conditioned one. Efficient preconditioners should be computationally inexpensive to construct and apply. Various preconditioning techniques exist, including algebraic multigrid methods, incomplete Lu factorization, and sparse approximate inverses. These techniques capture the underlying structure of the system matrix, providing a good approximation of the inverse. However, developing robust and efficient preconditioners remains a challenging task, especially for large-scale systems. Adaptive preconditioning techniques, which dynamically adjust the preconditioner during the iterative process, are essential. Machine learning techniques, such as neural networks, can also be used to develop data-driven preconditioners. Numerical experiments demonstrate the effectiveness of various preconditioners on different problem instances, highlighting the significant impact of preconditioner choice on convergence rates. The preconditioning problem is mathematically formulated as m caret 1 x equals m caret 1 b, where m is the preconditioner, a is the system matrix, x is the solution vector, and b is the right-hand side vector. This equation transforms the original system into a better conditioned one, where the preconditioner M approximates the inverse of A. Performance comparisons of different preconditioners on various problem instances are illustrated in figures and tables. For example, figure 5 shows the convergence rate of the GMRES solver with different preconditioners, while table 3 presents the computational cost of constructing and applying various preconditioners. Assumptions underlying this work include a large and sparse system matrix A and the use of Krylov subspace methods as iterative solvers. Future research directions include developing more robust and adaptive preconditioners, as well as exploring the use of machine learning techniques in preconditioning.